Hamburger meat. With the hamburger <laughs> meat, real Miami life. What is going on, guys? Familiar faces, hopefully. Paul and Matt. Um, this, welcome to Downshift Junior. JR. JR. You want to tell them why it's called JR? Because I am a, <laughs> a lesser version of Downshift. <laughs> I don't know if you can say lesser version, but... I'm, I'm the protege. I'm still like yes. a junior. I haven't earned the title yet to become yes. full-time. So, so tell them kind of what the channel is about. Yeah, so... What this, this channel is about. Matt, obviously on the main channel, we're super cinematic with our shots. And we usually go by a script. And um, we decided to make this one. I just... To give you guys more of like our raw experiences with vehicles. To give you guys some more like behind the scene. And hopefully some more like organic banter and stuff between us too. Yeah, yeah, I think it'll be kind of nice to just kind of show you guys what goes into making the videos that we put up on Downshift with the production and the, you know, how it all comes together. Yeah, behind so, the scenes, Road America yeah. stuff, what cars we have, like us switching keys and just like getting our first unedited opinions of vehicles. Um, Super authentic, off the cuff. Yeah, exactly. So exciting, we're in a hotel room. We are actually in Las Vegas, Sin City. Yeah. Actually, this guy said on the plane, he called it... Um, Oh, he said, guy on the plane said, lost wages. I thought that was pretty Lost cool. wages. <laughs> yeah. It's kind of like how some people say that the lottery is a tax on the poor, the stupid, or something like yeah. that. Yeah. Yeah, similar. Yeah. So, I've never been here. I've actually never been to Vegas at all. Yeah, Matt's Quite first blank, time. So, like, he's, I've been to Reno, though. He's kind of hyped up. Was terrible. Honestly, like, if, you're, if you like gambling, I guess this is cool. The only reason why I like Vegas is because they have really good events here. Um, music festivals... Formula One, like Las Vegas Rugby Sevens is here and stuff. So like, but I we're both not really gamblers, and yeah. like everything is just so expensive here. But anyway, we are here to mini bars twenty two bucks for a, <laughs> for a little a small thing of Grey Goose. Yeah. We are here to um, test drive the new Nissan Z, which is exciting. This is like one of the biggest launches um, this year. So like we're we're so happy to be here, and we're basically gonna just like take you guys behind the scenes of our little two day trip here. Okay, we just went. Post dinner. Hold up. Yeah, post dinner. Just finished that catch. Delicious food. If you catch ever it. stay at the Aria, Aria, I'm not sure how you pronounce it actually. Yeah. I would recommend going to the catch. Get the um, donut wonder wheel. It's fantastic. I don't know if it's actually on the menu or not, but we had a donut yeah. wheel. We'll show it's you really some good. clips of it. Matt's never been to Vegas. I think we mentioned that. So I'm going to show yeah, him the Bellagio fountains. Uh, we'll, we'll probably record that as well. Here we go. We just saw Mushu. That's our boy Mushu. <laughs> <laughs> Shout out Eddie Murphy. Yeah. Yeah. What are your thoughts, mate? It is cool. It is very cool. Glorious, isn't it? <laughs> it's majestic, you could say. The water's like speaking from its soul. <laughs> Beethoven in his fucking 76th Sonata. Look at that. That's his climax. All right, so it is day two. It is Tuesday, and kind of slept like shit, actually. Um, I took Matt, yeah, we walked around the strip. It was his first time, so he enjoyed that. And uh, it's about seven o'clock right now. We're supposed to meet downstairs at about eight. I've been working uh, my other job for the last hour, so I'm gonna do that again then we're gonna meet up with matt and then that's kind of like when the when the cool part starts so we'll see you in a bit This is what happens when you forget sunblock for your ears. Okay, um, 
so this is gonna be really casual. If you guys wanna see our main review on Downshift, uh, I'll link it down below. But this is basically just a drive along with Matt and I. I'm gonna read a little bit of some of the figures and things like that, um, but it's just gonna be real casual. I think we'll also mention, we'll do a little bit of a comparison to the GR86 and the Supra and um, pros and cons and like which ones we liked more. That's good. Uh, Matt's been struggling <laughs> with shifting this thing. So the clutch takeout, it's right, the bike way is right at the top and we just got out of the GR86, which was right at the bottom. So yeah. it's like, for whatever reason, mentally, I'm not, not making sense of it. They're just, his shifts aren't as smooth as I think he'd like them to be. Yeah, like it's fine. It's a nice notchy throw to the shifter, but for whatever reason, the clutch take up is just a little bit odd to me. So yeah, let's talk some power figures. So 400 horsepower, right? 350 yes. pound-feet of torque. Yeah, twin turbo V6. Um, peak torque starts out really low at about 1600 RPMs, and that carries through to 5200 RPMs and your max horsepower is at uh, 6,400 RPM. So it feels really good. Yeah, it's a um, bit of a third gear pull here. And it sounds, woo! So that's what red line is about. That's what it sounds like. It sounds really good. Uh, now, interesting enough, we actually haven't driven the automatic as of this very moment, but interesting tidbit about the automatic real quick. It's, the, it's a nine speed, it's the same transmission that's in the Frontier yeah. and I think the Pathfinder. Yep. It's been revised, obviously. Right. But um, that thing, zero to 60 time, is claimed to be four seconds flat, and this thing is five seconds. Actually, Matt, why don't you do a launch? That was not it. <laughs> we got the tires spinning a little bit, though. The tires are warm now. Um, I think it also has no lift shift, so that means you can just basically foot on the gas do you still need to engage your clutch then to pull it in a second or so so no lift basically means you can keep your foot on the gas rip it in a second as long as your clutch is in um but yeah that was matt's first attempt doing the launch <laughs> control we probably should have practiced i got way more wheel spin than i was anticipating so yeah i mean ultimately like it's quick and sure i didn't demonstrate that very well but like it, it is quick it feels quick it feels like it wants to live above 3000 rpm turbo spooled display you can it, there's like a sport version where it tells you it like really emphasizes the things that you want to know like the engine oil temp your oil pressure your water temp your boost you also have the three classic gauges right here on the dash the pods are sweet yeah the pods are sweet it's got your voltage it's got your boost as well and then it also your has your, speed. Yeah, your turbine speed of your turbos so that's really cool um i think us fitting here we're 6.1 and 6.2 respectively and there's a lot of room in here we both fit <laughs> especially because we just got out of the miata yeah i mean it's a cloud car to, yeah seriously there, there's a lot of good visibility in here like i'm i don't feel like i'm claustrophobic or cramped in here at all no. they it's did a, a nice cabin yeah they did a good job with the interior i think they like really focused on a few things i mean for under for under 50k it's still going to be you know there's going to be some recycled parts like yeah. the door handles are from the 370 the stocks are from a what was yeah said? i mean it's like they're selling it for 40k to start so there's going to be some evidence of cost cutting but i think the important thing is like none of none of the stuff that they cheapened out on like distracts from the experience yeah. like everything that i interact with the wheel the shifter the pedals like feels it good. all feels good the screen is is okay i mean yeah, yeah they, they did some synchro met or um like retuning right yeah they remapped first and second gear synchros so it feels pretty it feels like good shifting and it gets pretty stuck in and the the rev match is good yeah the rev matching is really good it, it's got a nice pedal box too if you wanted to heel and toe you absolutely could um it's yeah it's from a driving perspective as a sports car it's very good it does the things that i wanted to do i think let's talk about so the GR86 obviously makes a lot less horsepower, but I think it handled so much better than this. Obviously, the suspension is just rigged up to do that. But it that just, car is also a lot lighter too. Yeah, it felt more bitey. This feels a bit, a bit more floaty. Yeah. I feel like the steering wheel, um, although it's, it's the the first ever electrical um, steering shaft that they've ever put in the yeah. Z. Uh, which is 
good, but it still feels, I think the suspension, just because of its weight, probably just feels a little bit floaty to me. Yeah, it just, I don't know, we have Supra at home, and just thinking between the GR86 that we were just in and the Supra that we drove last year, like, the front end just seemed to bite a little bit more on the Supra, I think. And some of that could come down to tires. Like, if you swapped out tire for tire and you went with, like, a like a Pilot Super Sport on this, maybe it would feel closer to the Supra, but it does feel... It's got good bite to it, but just not as quite as sharp as the Supra, and not quite as sharp as the 86. But again, the 86 is a little lighter, too. Yeah, you have Bridgestone. Um, These are, yeah, Potenza S007s. And yeah, good, I mean, you have a 20% increase in your contact patch, yeah, so the, the grip is better. From the previous generation, yeah, the 370. So they, they widened up the tread that you have, which is cool. Yeah, no, I think when you're really getting into the minutia, then you start to notice some of the differences, but if just objectively behind the wheel, you're gonna have a good time in this thing. Yeah, I agree. I think we'll do a full, like, comprehensive review um, between, probably comparing the GR86, or maybe not, maybe just a Supra in this thing. But this thing sounds so good. Yeah, sounds it doesn't good. have the crackles and pops that It does not, no. And, and you actually don't, you don't, ha you don't hear a lot of the uh, turbo swoosh because they actually, like, recirculate um, that air to keep the turbine spinning to try and keep you in boost as soon as you shift, which is awesome. That's kind of why that range of your like peak torque is so wide on the on the on the rev band. Yeah, 1600 to 5200. I don't know if you said, but yeah, yeah. I did. Yeah, that's cool. Yeah, it's very cool. It's um, a very good. It's a good powertrain. Really liking that Q3 pumpkin orange. Pumpkin spice Q3. That's that's good. Okay, so oh man, what a day of filming. I hope you guys enjoyed the Z content. Fucking, we worked from nine, actually 8.30 until about three. We didn't eat lunch, skipped lunch. Cliff Bar lunch. <sighs> yeah, Cliff Bar and like melted M&Ms were in my pocket in a trail mix. So like, that was pretty cool. If you're in a like melted Hot candy. Dog. Did a few shots. <laughs> so that's cool. And- and I don't know if we're gonna go kart tonight because we have to be downstairs at 5:45. Our flight is at 7:45. Yeah, and somebody selfishly booked the entire kart circuit for the whole night. Yeah, there was a really close kart Rude. circuit um, about a mile away from the Aria. Aria, still don't know. And Aria. completely booked out for a private event night. I wonder if we're gonna get shit for trying to do British accents. I know I will because I fucking 100%. suck at it. You're not very good at it. But, like, actors do it, so why can't yeah, Matt do it? Though. But you're good at it. Yeah. You're amazing at it. Dude, why didn't we do a fucking goddamn piece of shit TikTok live with the Z? Because we're fucking idiots. That's a good point. Idiot! I'm putting that one on you. Vince Vaughn is probably the best actor. Top five, at least, for me, personally. The best actor. Wedding he's, Crashers. He's funny. He's Dodgeballs. Funny. Dodgeball. <laughs> Why are they? This is all the time, by the way. Like, it's just super common stuff that just gets just a little bit mispronounced. Kaylee makes fun of me all the time because I say, like, I can't say dandruff. Dandruff. Yeah. Head and shoulders. Yeah. Dandruff. And there was another one. It's common one. phrases. Like, there was another the one. Hold the phones. No. I'm hooked on phones. <laughs> so this is, this is the comparison I hit Matt with. I said, would you rather have a GR86 plus cash or the Z? You said. And I said, I will take whatever the Z costs, and I will put that money towards the Supra. So, AKA, his ranking is Supra Z GR86. Right. Which actually yeah. is surprising, because I would say that the GR86 handled better than the Z. Yes. The Z has more power, AKA, yes. straight line speed, yes. which I thought you don't really... It doesn't you, matter as much to me as, as, as handling, as limit but, handling, but we didn't but right. really get to test the, the Z... That's interesting. I think I would, I guess it's just like a no comp contest for you for a second because like you really don't give a shit because it's super. It's super okay yourself. I would say it's just so shitty because I love the way that the Z looks. It's very pretty. I would, I would do the full fair lady treatment. I but would I get think, the badges. I would do the I think thing. I would do Supra GR86 Z. Fuck. Really? I said it. You'd tell, you'd, you'd go low power. You. I know. Go low that's power. why. That's why I'm surprised you were in the same boat as me. Because I feel like I'm maturing as like fucking driver. I don't know. As a, a fucking driver, driver. I'm kind of like. 
It's not all about <laughs> speed. It's not all about SRT8. <gasps> You know should, what I mean? Should we throw Miata into the mix? Dude, fuck a Miata. Wow, hold on. Just dumb. I mean, it's small. I can't that's fit not in fuck it. a Miata. Go look at the rollers of me and Miata. I'll play it right now. I look fucking silly. The, the top of the windshield <laughs> is here. His head is look here. look fucking silly. <laughs> that's good. I just look. I look out of place. I don't know. You know who's cool, 30 though? seconds. That's far. You know who's cool? Mr. Beast. Mr. Bean? <laughs> Mr. Bean is dope as fuck. <laughs> okay. Okay, so... What are we consisted of? Because that's kind of the point of this video, right? Behind the scenes of the Z. So yes. we both flew in on Monday. Yes. Had an awesome dinner. I had the ILC to eat twice. Then uh, we had an amazing dinner, actually. I'm not going to lie to you. Last we night. walked three miles on the strip and we saw some incredible stuff. I mean, Vegas is just fun to people watch. It's insane. I've never been here before. It's insane. And then today we obviously drove the Z around. We had some Lake Mead, beautiful. Yeah, Apple Park is it gorgeous. Was really, it was really pretty. Nice sweeping roads, great flybys, good drone opportunity. Like the the footage is going to be great if you guys watch it on the main channel. It's gonna yeah, be the cinematic the cinematics on the main channel are going to be it's going to be wild, outrageous. <laughs> today was just being able to explore the car in some curvy roads at speed in the city. Um, the rev match downshifting, I think, is like the nicest thing for city driving. And then out in the park and on some, you know, twisty back roads, it's just fun to just rip it and, and rev the pants off of it. It's a good car. It's a great car. Yeah. I think it sounds really good. It's fast in a straight line. Like, it just, I think every time I, I stepped on the throttle, it still kind of surprised me how quick it was. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but with that, oh, but the Z, you can roll the windows down, the Supra. Did they fix that in 22? I don't know. Oh yeah, the buffeting, it's bad. Did they fix that? Not that I'm aware of. Bye.